Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Robert and I will be your pilot for today uh, as we take this beautiful aircraft, this beautiful A350 from San Francisco uh, in the US to Copenhagen in Denmark. A couple of days ago I asked on my uh, community tab what you would like to see. Do you want to see me do a full flight? Uh, in this uh, aircraft and uh, do a stream where you can uh, get to know me better where we can chat interact with each other stuff like that or would you like a video where I give you my honest opinion about this aircraft or would you like both well you want the video and the video I'm gonna give so in this uh, episode I am going to fly the A350 as I said from San Francisco to Copenhagen and I'm gonna give you my uh, full opinion about this aircraft because it does have some issues uh, that I want to address and at the end of the video I will rate it on a scale from 1 to 10 so uh, without further ado stick around because this could be fun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's uh, begin. We waste no time here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to start up the batteries. So you, 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 you. And we can uh, do this as well. So basically we want a dark uh, cockpit in the Airbus. Uh, we uh, set you to nav. So far so good, right? Oh, that was my bad. So far so good. We're gonna get to uh, one uh, little disclaimer here soon. One uh, huge complaint of mine. So we set you there and we turn the nav light on. And that looks good. You are at fault, that's okay. So we can turn these on. And you can come on. And we can turn the hydraulic pumps. There we go. So basically, as I said, we want a dark uh, cockpit. There's going to be a fault. Uh, that's okay. That is a fault. Uh, that's okay. And we look good upstairs. So, my first complaint of mine actually comes to the settings. So, we have the auto pause setting right here. I found that almost immediately. I disarmed it. And the game still paused uh, as soon as I turned off the autopilot. I was kind of pissed. Uh, I complained uh, both on YouTube and on my uh, TikTok and I think I even complained in a group that A, my sim is um, uh, pausing and the, I can't do jack shit about it, the auto pause is disarmed, what the fuck is wrong? What I didn't realize was that there's another auto pause right there. That was set on alerts. So there are two auto pause, there are two settings for the same um, uh, things. So basically take these three and add to this and make sure to be able so you can choose uh, so that you can choose uh, several different options. Do that instead because I can guarantee that that would make things way easier. So yeah, you got auto pause right there, and you got auto pause right there, and that is, um, yeah. I was not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Now it's both off, and uh, time flow, difficulty level, structure limits, 
Uh, so these are set as they should. And uh, when you change these, uh, make sure to save and then uh, you can uh, reload current aircraft and art. And hopefully you will be good. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, how it looks. So now we are going to go to options. We're gonna go to ground services, doors and hatches. We're gonna open you. We're gonna open you. And I think we're good like that. Ground equipment. We can go st chairs, stairs, trucks, passenger bus, fuel truck, luggage loader, uh, air conditioning. We can do that too. Uh, external power. Um, so that looks good. And now we can go to. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We can go to. Uh, let's uh, actually start with this. Uh, where. Are you external power? There we go. There you are. Okay, so now we are on external power. We got all screens. So basically, uh, something I got confused about was the MCDU won't come on unless you uh, activated uh, external power. So that is uh, worth remembering. Um, you can actually find um uh, the user's guide uh, right here so you got uh, all the uh chapters here um so yeah so you can actually find that and that is great uh however i am very lazy so i rarely read that honestly uh so now we can actually uh go to um uh, Volantam, where we can uh, find our flight. Uh, so what we do is we go direct to Volanta like this. And right here we're going to have a cost index of 65. Uh, extra fuel of 3.2 tons. And we can go to passengers. Uh, ground services, airplane, and passengers. So yeah, what I did. Uh, so we were right here. What I did is I go to airplane. We go passengers. Here we got fuel. So we got all that set up. Um, and I'm going to punch in here. Uh, we're gonna have a crew of uh, 12 uh, First class we will have uh, Let's say 13 now we go heavy right away. There we go. And now we go to fuel. Um, we're gonna have uh, 90.2 tons of fuel. 90. Uh -huh. There we go. Implement. Invalid. Okay, guess that's good. Uh, now we load the passengers. So now that's all loaded and good to go. Okay, so now we are pretty soon gonna come to my next complaint. Uh, so we go down to the MCDU. And active, and we go to flight plan. 
No, I'm sorry, we're gonna go to Init. And we're going to be Scandinavian SAS uh, 936. From uh, Kilo Sierra Faction Oscar to Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel. The click spots, they are not good. And I'm gonna show you. You see, now our flight number disappeared. SAS 936. Okay, now we got that. Uh, Echo Kilo Bravo India. Echo Kilo Bravo India. And, okay, now that is done. Now we're gonna have to go to uh, Cruise, which we got at 370. Three seven zero zero zero. Now, uh, look at this. Look at our uh, when I press cost index here. There we go. Nothing happened. So sometimes you hit it right. Sometimes you don't. But that is something you're gonna have to keep an eye uh, keep an eye on. Um, and for some reason. The company route uh, won't work. So you can't find the route, unfortunately. That sucks. So, at least not for me. If it works for you, sure. Uh, but uh, I have to go without it. But that's okay. Now, line IRS. Now we have our IRS that uh, went a little too quick, I believe. But sure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna punch in the um, uh, root and also here some click spots uh, kind of sucks. So we press departure. And we're gonna depart out of runway zero one uh, uh, right uh, zero one right and uh, we're gonna have said uh, need the three there we go transition orca I kind of like orcas, honestly. Uh, I really do, even though they are called uh, killer whales. Now we're gonna have a um, uh, next waypoint, so we press uh, next waypoint, and you can control with your um, um, with your um, keyboard. That is something I like. Not gonna lie. As I said, you're getting, um, you're getting my honest review here. And I'm going to make it easy for myself. So I'm going to go direct to uh, Fimgu. There we go. Apply. There we go. Cool. And now we come to weird kind of shit. Uh, so we're gonna go direct to. Uh, Gerby. What did I do? There we go. Um, there we go, apply, 
and from there we are actually taking um, uh, airways so we press airways also here some click spot sucks like this for example uh, Juliet uh, 5.30 and now you have to press enter there we go what are you doing there we go and we're going to Yankee Yankee November Yankee Yankee November there we go this goes uh, good so far okay there it is temporary insert and hang on uh, insert next waypoint and it's going to be Yankee Golf X-ray uh, Yankee Golf okay so I accidentally uh, stopped the recording what I'm doing now though you can uh, skip that for now or don't talk about it for now uh, so what we do, um, so I just enter, we're going to do an ILS approach uh, to 2-2 two, two left. And we're going to do um, uh, test speed 3 Charlie uh, star. Uh, no transition, so temporary flat plan. Insert. And we got the route right there, so we can uh, check that later on. Now we can go to wind and we can actually uh, skip this I believe yeah we skip this uh, fuel and payload so let's see Volanta uh, we can actually find our zero fuel weight uh, right here so 187.6 so here you're gonna see uh, 187.6 here you're gonna see another example of that uh, click spot problem I had uh, so block fuel uh, is let's see block fuel will be 90.2 Ninety point two, and here we have it again, I believe. So, if your weights under gravity will be twenty one percent. 21 and enter okay so now we got some stuff here and decent ground weight I have no clue what that is honestly I have no fucking clue um, okay so we're gonna skip that and actually what we can do now is that we can actually go to performance uh, because now we're going to hang on there we go now we are going to um, start up with um, uh, if I can find it uh, runway slope we can press uh, 0 0.2 uh, and we got a click spot uh, flat one okay uh, flap two no Still out of range. 
Center of gravity is out of range. How can center of gravity be out of range? Passengers. Uh, performance, no. In it. Fuel and load. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Um, Some of gravity is out of range. Let's see, what is our ground weight? I wonder how it could be out of range, though. So I'm having a hard time with this. Uh... Hang on, I'm missing something. I'm trying to figure out what it could possibly be. What if I do toga takeoff then? Ground weight, center gravity, okay. So what happens if we... Did this. It's like middle. Implement. 19.0 right there. So we... Uh, change this. In it, uh, fuel and load, 19%, uh, and 19%. What now? Let's see. What if we do it now? One. Two. Okay. Let's go with three then. Three? No. Um, so I want our center of gravity to match. How the hell do we do that? You know what? I'll uh, I'll come back. I'll come back. Give me a second. You know what? Let's uh, actually uh, cheat. So we go to performance. We put uh, 145. Uh, we put uh, 170. See click spots. And 175.
actually let's put one uh, one six five we put that so that's what we do and we do a toga takeoff and we should be good let's see what happens if we press this one okay nothing cool and 18,000 feet uh, that is correct let's uh, check the route and see what we got I have no clue how to uh, actually uh, find the center of gravity uh, because the thing is I did not find it I'm gonna show you um, so in it no uh, fuel and load the center of gravity is supposed to be here uh, ground weight and fuel on board I did not find it for some reason so yeah I'm gonna check here just so I don't miss anything oh yeah we're gonna have to do this as well uh, so we're gonna set uh, you on auto we're gonna set you on TRA we're gonna turn you guys on that you have to do and terrain mode GPWS and there we go could that be what I missed I wonder let's uh, check there we go oh yeah. no okay we we go with uh, what we have then uh, so we simply made up uh, V speeds, basically. Uh, we can see right there. Uh, oh, hang on. Fuel and load. Yeah, ground weight. Center of gravity, twenty-five point four. Well, well, what the heck? We go with uh, what we have. We we completely uh, made up uh, V speed, so we can uh, we can do that. Now we will turn on the APU. So we press U, and we turn APU generate APU bleed. APU generator is on, as we remember. And we should have flap open. So we can actually, um, when the APU is on, we uh, close all doors and simply uh, get on our way. I'm going to have some candy. There we go. now we press on there we go that was not what I was going to do. And while that is going, we're going to check our route so everything looks good. And we do that in flight plan just like we do on a regular Airbus. So we simply press, 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 press. And 
and we delete you and we press some more okay There we go, now you can see better. <clears throat> and we delete that one. Now we check again. And we got a very nice approach. And APU is on. So we set you to arc. And we set you to arc as well. So now when the uh, APU is on, um, we can do this, ground service, doors and hatches, close all. Now we can remove this. There we go. And uh, let's um, call for pushback. Stop pushback. Now I'm going to Please show me where you want to go. Let's go there. No, hang on. No, 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 no. Stop pushback. We're we'll gonna go to that stand right there and do it like that. There we go. There we go. And uh, I will um, come back when we start up the engines. And by the way, I have no clue what those people are doing here. I have no clue. Enjoy the uh, push connection. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. The woman with a beautiful voice said uh, disconnect uh, or uh, yeah um, uh, um, release the parking brakes so that's what we're going to do. Starting pushback and you may start engines. And now we can uh, turn on the beacon light like so. And uh, we simply start up engine number two. That doesn't seem to work for some reason. Now 
No, 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 no. That was a bad idea. Okay, let's try again. For some reason, the engines don't want to start up. So what am I missing here? Um, shouldn't be missing anything. How about that one? Uh, everything is good. Set you to norm. We should be good. So I don't know what the problem is. Except that one. Because I'm pretty sure that I can. Yeah, we start up in the number one first then. Because uh, this engine should be good to go. I have candy. I'm eating candy now. Okay, now let's try engine number two. Now it works. Aha! So we got it. Um, Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Yeah, parking brake is set. We forgot Stand to by. lock the cockpit doors, so we do that. Right there. Cockpit door is locked. And we can go flat one there we go turn on the wing light and we look pretty good, I believe. I wonder why you are so un... Okay, yeah, good. Okay, so we can uh, turn off the we'll APU. And, and we set you to norm. And we arm the speed brake. We set the auto brake and now we uh, test uh, the flight controls so forward back left no right left there we go rudder right rudder left and everything center cool so now we do a takeoff config. Uh, brakes, auto brake fault, on the skid. Uh, okay, then we go back there. Serve, controls, auto. Status and switches. There we go. We're gonna have to do uh, these as well. 
and now we got some um, other warnings here yeah now we look good at the skid and we look uh, good we do take our config test again cool okay that's nice so now we got the aircraft uh, started up and I'm gonna taxi out to the runway so I'll see you soon Okay, well, uh, I'm basically ready to go. So I'm gonna go full down, full nose down, and we set uh, toga thrust. And uh, off we go to uh, Copenhagen. So thrust is set. And we're gaining speed. One hundred. V one. Oh boy, we're gonna have to rotate. Come on, climb. That was narrowly, but uh, passer rate okay, is coming up. That was a horrible takeoff, though. But uh, sure, I guess should have uh, taken a um, uh, flap two takeoff, though. I believe. But, uh, yeah, what the heck? Uh, let's see, what's that? High pressure unit. Okay. Okay, so we're climbing. That's a good thing. And I'm still uh, hand flying. And the climb thrust is actually pretty far back, so you're gonna have to go pretty far back in this aircraft uh, to uh, reach uh, climb thrust. So just pull your throttles back uh, nice and slow, and you will find it. But yeah, I'd say I uh, am at like 50% uh, thrust right now, so. I'm gonna turn the uh, autopilot on at this time. can do a uh, flyby that is one pretty aircraft However, we can't pull back the flaps yet.
or retract the flaps, I should say. So if I do, yeah, we're going into uh, orange right there. Yeah, you see. So we need to uh, keep the flaps out for a little longer. That is because we are very, very heavy at the moment. We are very heavy. We're in toga lock. There we go. Now I got back to uh, climb. So we'll uh, simply have to uh, keep the flaps up. How long? I don't know. But at the moment we can't gain speed, so because we are so heavy. And I do have a feeling that our um, uh, central gravity is playing a part as well. So, you know what? I will. Um, I will be uh, back when I have some uh, news, uh, like when I start to gain speed, for example. So I'll see you soon, guys. Okay. So now I gain some speed and uh, everything. Um, I uh, should be cool so uh, yeah we are on our way to uh, Copenhagen and uh, right now we should be good so we uh, we are uh, actually climbing up to uh, uh, 37,000 feet um, because that was our uh, cruise altitude uh, if I remember correctly and I do so flight number 370 is our um, uh, is our cruise altitude and yeah that's uh, where we descending so uh, I will uh, read back to you uh, at our top of descent uh, when we are going to land into Copenhagen so I'll see you soon okay guys so I missed my uh, top of descent a little bit but uh, I am uh, trying to uh, uh, get back on top of this hint right now. So we'll bring out some spoilers. Hopefully that will help me descend some more and We can see that uh, uh, We're coming in uh, to our profile again uh, We don't want to come in too fast though, but uh, we get in there. So uh, We will be uh, good. Uh, I will uh, come back to you as soon as we hit uh, 10,000 feet Okay, so now we are at 10,000 feet. Uh, we are slightly below the profile, but uh, we will uh, stabilize uh, pretty soon. So what we do now is we turn on uh, all the lights. For now, there we go. And we also turn on the fast seatbelt sign. And it's raining. We've had some uh, shit weather here in Sweden, so they most likely have had that in Denmark too. Let's bring out some spoilers, slow down a little bit. Like so. And now we're coming back on a decent uh, profile. So we look uh, pretty good. Uh, 
Ecstasy. Okay, now we are bang on the profile. And we're gonna go down to uh, two to left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to plan Oh yeah, that was how it looked Cool, now remember So yeah, um, one thing uh, that I feel that I have to point out was that uh, I've had I had some um, uh, some uh, autopilot problems so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here we're gonna go to uh, Volanta and you can see right uh, right over here um, the autopilot turned off and we started deviate uh, we started deviate uh, to the left and then I had to yeah so I've had some uh, problems with the autopilot during the trip um, so yeah uh, I'm gonna look that up and see um, see what happens with that um, yeah now we can check what the um, uh, altimeter is like. The altimeter is Okay, cool. And we have some shit weather here in Denmark. We can turn you on and we turn you on on this side. There we go. Okay, now we change you to uh, one zero zero five.
There we go. And one thing that I completely forgot was this. Um, 240 at 18. 240 at 18. Okay. Um, Q and H is one zero zero five. No, hang on. Um, yeah. And temperature is seventeen degrees. Uh, seventeen. And gonna set you to hang on. Uh two zero eight two zero eight me two zero eight nope. Two zero eight. There we go. And we set. So we set break three. So you see the brakes. Hang on. You see the brake right there. Uh, what uh, brake you have? So we set uh, break three. Uh, that will do what it's supposed to. Now we can press uh, approach and establish ourselves on the localizer and we are established on the glide slope and we arm the speed brakes and we go flat one actually let's do flat two 2500 and get down Okay, my first landing in the uh, A350 after a 10 hour flight. Actually, over 10 hours because of the deviation that we had. And go flat three. and flap full. Okay. Flap is full and indicated. Spoilers are armed. And we look good. We got some uh, winds though. Let's see, um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, now I will take uh, manual control here soon, there we go.
There we go. I have manual control. We're going nose up a little bit. There we go. Center line. Minimum. Landing. Okay, I go visual as of now. Okay. There we go. The versus. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. That was eighty. Whoa. Damn. Okay. So in with the spoilers up with the flaps whoa that was not a good landing okay that was uh, hard so now we taxi to the gate Okay, there we go. And also we turn off the strobes like that. Okay, so what is my honest opinion about the Flight Factor A350? Um, Oh, out of range. Okay. Uh, well, except those issues that I pointed out, uh, I find it uh, kind of hard to land. You have to uh, start your flare at uh, a higher altitude than usual. Uh, so next time I will try to flare at about uh, 40 feet or so. Uh, but yeah, we have that uh, auto pause issue uh, where there are two settings for the same um, action. Uh, some bad um, <coughs> click spots. Um, I don't know if the autopilot is a common issue. Uh, Oh, thank you, I guess, or something, I don't know. Oh, we can take uh, this way. Uh, so, yeah, those are the issues uh, that I have with the airplane. There, there are some bad uh, click spots. Um, and as I said, the uh, auto pause. Uh, but my rating for this airplane, I think I would say... Um, about uh, seven and a half, eight, maybe, uh, because of those issues. Uh, however, I do like this plane, and uh, I'm gonna learn to uh, fly it eventually. So, uh, yeah, I like this plane. It's uh, it's a cool aircraft, and uh, I'm happy I bought it. 
so uh, with that uh, I'm gonna say thank you for watching this video uh, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one thank you bye